Welcome to the Smelling Netcast. Make sure you're prepared with your glue, pencil, scissors, your zip top bag to put your words in once we're finished, and of course, the spelling book and your spelling words. Yeah, we are doing your prefixes today. So, of course, the first thing we got to do is cut these words out, but I'm going to do it a little bit, well, it may be different from what I've done before, but I'm actually going to cut out these prefixes first, these ones right here. So I'm going to leave them all put together, but I'm actually going to cut these out like this, all right? And then, of course, I've got to cut them out, but I'm going to leave them connected so we can actually write those down. And then I pop off this, leave that there, because we're going to glue that up there in a second. And let's finish cutting our words out. So as I go through this, I want to ask you a question as I'm cutting these out. How do you spell misspell? Because misspell is actually a word that is most often misspelled. And it was on one of those words, but oh, hey, it's gone. So we're going to come back to that word and we're going to talk about misspell. But how do you spell it? What do you think? Don't write it down, just think it in your head. Because uh, there's some things we got to talk about as we go through these beautiful words here. All right, I am almost done. So I'm going to put these words together. i got to just kind of spread them out a little bit so I know kind of what I'm doing. And But the thing I want you to know is we are talking about prefixes. Prefixes. And so what a prefix is, is a, it's actually a some letters that are put at the beginning of a word, a root word, that changes its meaning. So we're going to glue this up here at first. I'm going to take this, glue this up on top so we've got it there. Beautiful. And I'm not going to glue these on because I want you to use these at other time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these across here. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to write you notice I've got a space up here. Oops, I better move this down. I got a space up here so I can write some information up here that I need to. So I'm going to put D I S dash underline, M I S dash underline, P R E dash underline. That way I know I've got them right in that order. Now I can just cut these up and put them in my zip top bag as I need to. So what we're going to talk about is these three prefixes. Dis, miss, and pre. And so the one we're going to start out with first is we're going to find out what does pre mean. So we're going to go pre-school. So let's write that. pre school, and I want you to underline the prefix, preschool. Okay, let's go to the next word, which is precaution, caution, precaution. And I want you to underline that. So what do you think a preschool is? Preschool. Pre-caution. Okay, we're going to do one more in here, and we're going to call it pre-heat. So what do you do with uh, things when you pre-heat them? It's actually before. So right above that, we're going to write before. So whenever you see the word pre Pre means before school. So before you go to, to regular school, kindergarten, first grade, you have preschool, which is before regular school. 
precaution is before you need you got to think before there's a, a problem so you have to have to take precautions and if you want to um, heat something up before then you before heat so you heat it up before all right so there's pre and most of you might have known that but that's okay we're 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 learning this anyways because there is a word in here i need you to find let's see if i can find it somewhere here because this one's an e interesting word and it is called let me see if i can find it in here i know it's in here somewhere there it is there it is precious now if you notice in these words these are actually root words those are real words is there a real word in precious because it's c i o u s sus is that a word sus precious i don't think so and so this is actually a trick word the reason why you need to know prefixes is because you need to see the root word and see if it changes the word. So precious is actually going to be, let's put that one up here. That one is actually going to be an odd ball. And I, we're going to write that one here. And that is our only odd ball, precious, because you need to know that precious is precious, my precious. Got it? All right, now let's go over to dis. Dis. We're going to start with dis. So let's see what dis means. Dis. Dis agree. We're going to underline dis. Dis agree. All right. Let's find another one. Oh boy. This is what we got to be careful of. Dis obey. Now, if you see that, there's these words right here. And I do want you to circle them like I have here. Because these are the root words. Agree, obey. Let's pick another word. Let's go honest. Honest. Dis. Honest. Honest is the root word. Dis is the prefix. And so if we are dishonest, we are not honest not honest not agreeing if we disagree we do not agree if we disobey we are not obeying all right so that's what those words mean there i need you to make sure that you understand that these are prefixes and you're going to find those all over the place but now let's get to the word that i asked you in the very beginning and that was misspell but we're not going to put that one up yet. We're going to talk about some of these first. Let's do mistreat. Mistreat. Underline miss. Circle the treat. If I miss my treat, does that, does that mean I don't have my treat anymore because I missed it? I don't know. Let's look at some of these other words just to see if, uh, if I'm right on that one. Misplace. Miss place. Does that mean I don't get my place? I don't know. If you misplace something, what does that mean? Misplace. All right. Misplace. If I misplace something, all right, let's do one more. One more, and then we're going to add our, well, actually, let's do it right now. Misspell. Miss spell. So let's circle place. There's our prefix and there is our root word. Misspell means to do it, to spell it wrong. So it's wrongly. If we do this, we are treating something wrongly. We mistreat we're treating it wrongly. If we misplace, we've placed it wrongly. We put it somewhere we should not have. If we misspell, we spelled it wrongly. 
So when we misspell something, since it is a prefix, we have to have both S's in there to show that it is the prefix and the root word. So what I need you to do is I need you to go through your words and I need you to write out all the rest of them out here, underlining the prefix, the root word. We need to make sure we didn't underline or circle any of these because it is not a prefix. Everybody understand that? Good. All right. So the tree, the, the prefix on here, what I need you to understand about prefixes is that the prefix changes the base word or the root word. And so we just got to make sure that we have that ready to go. All right.